Spark plugs are the dumbest thing in the world. Not held on here by anything. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Alex Whittick and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today guys, I am super hyped. Yes, I have not made a video in two days, but that's for good reason. I installed the family's garage door, my brother with the A4. He needed a new garage door opener and he's been lifting that garage door for weeks on end and I finally got it all installed for him. And honestly, it took me all day yesterday and the day before the weather was super bad, but we are back and better than ever. The Audi TT is right here and we are gonna be working on this thing today. We are gonna be installing some red top coil packs. Hopefully I have to go pick those up, but the first thing we have to do is remove them. So let's go ahead and do that. But guys, I just wanna say, we are gonna be doing a 20,000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Hit your post notification bell. Follow my Instagram at tilted underscore TDI and if you guys need some parts make sure you hit the link in the description if you have a European vehicle I get you 5% off discount on ECS tuning.com don't miss out a bunch of people have been using that lately and uh, everyone's been buying some sick parts so don't miss out on that but guys I'm super excited because we are working on the TT today she is looking awesome I got this glove over the hood exit and uh, it's just a beautiful day so hopefully you guys are enjoying the day enjoy the content and let's get to it I'm gonna go grab some tools from the garage but I hope you guys are really excited because we are gonna be getting the BBS RS is back on the mark 5 TDI MK underscore Tommy is gonna get me sitting right tomorrow I'm really excited we're gonna go visit his shop He's gonna weld up the wheels and we're gonna get them back on the car and I know a lot of you guys have been missing those and I really do miss them myself. I really like the stocks and how they handle but uh, nothing beats those RS's and we are soon gonna go be picking up some wheels for the Audi TT, get her sitting wide and uh, hopefully the wheels that I have been looking at are available for me to pick up. They're 18 by 11 and uh, I believe they're like negative eight or 10 offset and uh, with those extended control arms that we're doing and stuff like that, this thing's gonna be sitting fire. So stay excited for that content and we're also picking up some more parts for the TT and uh, we're gonna get started on suspension stuff but we are getting more motor parts so I know you guys are excited and uh, I'm gonna go grab those tools and let's start digging right into this thing. All right so we're at the car right now and I'm looking at this thing and uh, spark plugs. Spark plugs are the dumbest thing in the world. I'm so used to working on diesels where the engine is really a fuel based engine it's that's really what the motor relies on where and a gas engine is basically limited by air, not fuel. So, spark plugs are dumb, I'm sorry. But it's something new to me and I'm really hyped on the whole two-step thing. But guys, we're gonna have to rip off all this air pumps. And uh, the thing that really stinks about this is a lot of these are dry rotted. So the chances of us cracking these today are very high, but the chances of me caring, very low. And I'm super excited to get these uh, Audi R8 coil packs in here. I'm told that that's a common thing that people that people do, and uh, I'm getting them from Sean. Sean's ripping them. He already ripped them off the totaled car, so uh, we're gonna be getting those. We're gonna be putting those in. So obviously, we're gonna have to rip off all of this stuff, get all this trash out of here. You know, there's just a bunch of trash in here, and we're gonna get this completely cleared out. We're gonna get all of this off, all the boost piping and stuff, and uh, we're gonna get all these exposed, and we'll even be able to clean the head, maybe even take some polish to this and uh, clean this up. Because uh, when you have stuff exposed that you're not usually exposed to, definitely want to clean it up, make it look nice so uh, you don't have to clean it up later when there's no reason for anything to be off. So let's dig right into it and um, let's get the day started. I'm really excited to be back behind the camera and I hope you guys are liking this content. So before I go pick up these parts, Sean really wanted to see this Tilted TDI in person. Like many other people I think would. It's uh, definitely something that catches your eye. But it doesn't have the best audio in it. I, I have the two front door speakers hooked up but uh, you really notice when you don't have the back door speakers hooked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and rehook these up so we have some good audio in this car and we're sounding you know, pretty good. Only the top clips are in, the bottom clips aren't, so this door's a little floppy right now because I actually did intend on you know, putting speakers in this car at some point, at some point like every other guy, and uh, I got more focus on the thing driving than speakers. So I'm gonna go ahead, rehook that speaker up, and uh, then we'll be working on that before we leave. door speaker is still in there so all I had to do was just rehook the clip back up and it, I hopefully it will work but um, a lot of those clips are actually undone like the window wire and all that stuff like the window motor because the main door harness on the driver's side is actually all frayed I don't know if I showed you guys in some previous videos um, exactly what's going on but the door basically just has some snipped wire so 
you know, it's, it, it basically sometimes opens and closes the windows. And as you guys can see, there's so much soot and carbon on these windows that as you're traveling down the road, you really don't want those windows to drop because then the cabin fills up with the carbon, the soot, all that good stuff. And uh, as you guys can definitely see, that chrome trim is turned into black trim. So some of you guys who don't like chrome are, you know, maybe a little excited about seeing the, you know, the chrome cover up. But so now that window doesn't drop and hopefully the speaker will work and uh, I'm gonna get a new door harness at some point. It's really not number one on my list because it doesn't bother me and I don't need to open those windows either way so yeah that's all like that but um i'm gonna go ahead and start digging into this before we leave and uh hopefully we can get everything off majority of it before we go ahead and pick up those coil packs i actually went upstairs and i had a late 3 p.m lunch you know i had some eggs some toast uh more like a breakfast of more than anything but i got a text from sean as i was eating and he's like hey listen i'll meet up with you in that spot in 20 minutes so i ran downstairs here i am about to load this car up put some uh tools in it and stuff like that in case you know i always want to bring a jacket up with me when i'm driving this thing and uh yeah, so we got to load up some tools in case anything happens, some extra tires, a little A extra tire, and uh, we're going to head out. Once we come back, then we'll really rip this thing apart, and, uh, you know, movie magic, we're gone. Got the car all loaded up, we got the jack in the back, we got the impact, we got some tools, and we're ready to head out. It's only like a seven mile drive, it's actually one mile further, or it's actually one mile closer than where we headed last time, so it's like a six mile drive, it's really nothing, and the other day I went for like a 35 mile drive off camera, so... This car is going to be fine. We are about to show cord on the front driver's side tire, but uh, we'll just get that flipped at some point. And we're going to be putting the RSs on tomorrow, so stay tuned for that video. But let's head out and let's go, uh, let's go see these parts. It's only been a few short days and we already got leaves on the trees. At some parts it looks like it's mid-summer, and some parts it looks like it's, you know, not a, there's no leaves on the trees, not even buds. So it's kind of weird. I know a lot of you guys live in states where you guys already got full leaves and stuff, but uh, yeah, we're on our way. We've got the farms, the fields all around us. We're having a good time driving this thing. Love it as always. And uh, we're going to be there soon. So let's see these parts. And uh, I can't show you everything because we got some goodies. And um, I'd like to keep you guys on your toes. The man delivering the parts. Oh, you can't even see him through the grime in the window. The window grime is so bad. Sean just got here. It's the first time ever seeing this car since it's uh, when it was stock. Sean, what do you think about this thing? Say, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, sit suffering on the ground. I'm hyped on seeing this thing out here, you know? Yeah. Man's getting the looks, but we're about to see some parts and uh, we're gonna keep some hidden from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're out here yes, sir. <laughs> dude I really love it on the stocks to be honest I'm putting the RS's on it tomorrow though yeah yeah I'm hyped because he's hyped honestly I've been uh, just been sitting home not filming videos of set that I haven't getting you guys content but uh Sean is definitely hyped so it's sick too because he's hooking us up on these parts for the TT so that's dope but yeah the car is sitting here got the engine bay open right now we're stunting out here in this parking lot got people looking at us but you know that's just the vlog life but yeah I'm hyped homie over there wants me to repair his window Sean and I just uh we just got his Instagram Mikey underscore Mikey or something like that Sean what do you think about that guy he's I have no idea cool like, dude I guess cool dude nice dude if you see the video for sure Hell, heck yeah, I might fix your window, but yeah, if anyone wants to fix this dude's window, hit him up, M-I-K-E underscore M-I-K-E, something like that, find him. He's got a Boston Memorials hat on. I don't really know, but we just gave him the rundown of the camber and uh, he went to the Sussex County liquor store, so hit him up. Little sneak peek, Sean's got the parts. We're gonna show you guys that when we get back home, but uh, we got a box full of parts in front of us and uh, yeah, super hyped, but uh, let's take these back home. I'm out of here, Sean and I are gonna hit the dip. Peace out, bro. Peace. Oh, just like that, you know, little little elbow, little freaking ankle action, and uh, we're out of here, Sean. Hell yeah. Thank you Yo, for the parts. Out, got, got the you. fresh cut. Got the fresh Hell yeah, cut. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so we're gonna head on out of here, guys. Let's head back home. Uh, the town I was just in 
all the trees were just like, it looked like summertime. And I pulled back into like my area and uh, it basically looks like, you know, kind of springish. But we got all those parts. We got some parts that you guys are gonna see later in the week down on the floor. Do some more bowls, enjoy the day. And uh, we're gonna get ripping on that TT. As the TDI chugs away, I actually have this Saab 93 wagon in front of me. And I think that would be a sick channel car. I know nothing about Saabs. I don't know if they're like really all that good of cars but I think that they're pretty good and uh, the Saab 93 wagon looks freaking sick. Just got home and look who we got here. We got Big J and Big J's favorite face mask that he has to wear all day at work. But we just got home with these parts. The TT is over there. I just hooked Papa J up with some ice cream even though he purchased it, he forgot he bought it. But the TDI is looking awesome. I just popped the trunk and uh, Man, this thing is just completely covered in soot. You can see that fade line, that nice fade. And then, you know, you got the smoky tilt TDI hitting the smoky areas. But pop this open. And I put these specifically back here because I knew when I got home, I really wanted to show you guys them separate from the other stuff that we were going to be installing on the car at a later date in a couple days. Because as you guys know, we're going to get those wheels all repaired tomorrow, put them on the car and all that stuff. But we got these four red tops. These are from an Audi R8, part number R0504, 3005020201220617. I know you guys want to hear all that information. But uh, yeah, these are fairly simple to install. You know, as you guys know, I only work with diesels. I got the Mark 6, I got the Mark 5. For all you guys new to the channel, thank you for joining us on this video today. If you are still here, make sure you guys comment down below. I stayed and we're just getting started. So anyway, I'm not used to spark plugs. I don't even know how these really work. I used to race motocross, so I understand the whole concept, but um, yeah, good. Put that right there next to all that belt residue and the, you know, all that good stuff. But we have to go ahead, take off this intercooler piping, and then we have to just remove all these eight mils, get all this bracketry out of here and then we can take out these. We're gonna need the impacts. So we're gonna have to get that out of the TDI, go get my tools and uh, let's get cracking on this. Oh, I just got all my tools out of my lovely toolbox over there. The Tilted TDI is no longer the stance mobile, no longer the race car, quote unquote. It is now the toolbox. But we're over here, we gotta remove these 10 mils, take off these eight mils off the boost intercooler piping, take off these right here, and then we'll be exposed to those. We are no longer gonna be using these bolts to hold these down. These are gonna fit right into place. It's gonna be like a little boom right in. It's gonna lock right into place. And uh, that's how it is, OEM on the Audi, Audi R8. It's gonna go right to the holes and uh, Let's get right to it. I've never done this before, so I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. So I just took the boost piping off and I swear it gets faster and faster every single time. As you guys can see, it's way easier to see down there and there at the exhaust. It's getting some really nice color, but that's besides the fact for today's video. Um, got that all removed, got these all removed. Everything's looking good from here. I've already got my 10 mil laid down on here and we're just gonna go have to go ahead, remove all of this stuff. I'm just gonna tuck it to the side and then these will be exposed right here. We'll remove every single one of these is held down by two 10 mils. We're gonna remove all four of them. And then we're going to remove these caps from the top with a screwdriver. I'll go more into detail on that. I think that it's kind of just self-explanatory. This one's not even like on there. Maybe that's why we're already having issues. So I don't know. Maybe we'll have to go ahead and get new pigtails at some point. Because it does look like all these clips are broken and not really holding on there. And they're held on there by electrical tape. So this car is looking more and more hack every single time we get into it. But hey, I didn't build it. So it's whatever. So let's go ahead and remove these 10 mils. And uh, yeah, try to figure out what is going on here. I mean, really. Like you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it all that well, but like this thing is not held on here by anything. I don't even know what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead, assess what kind of hackery is going on here and uh, try to recreate the hackery when I, when I put these new coil packs in here. So there's no actual issues. We've run into a very small issue. I only have a, a short socket for a 10 mil and that's pretty deep. So I'm gonna have to go digging through this bag and see what is available to me. If you ever have 10 mils, make sure you have a deep socket and a short socket because, I mean, you run into this issue right here, but we're gonna find the deep socket and uh, we're gonna keep going at it, but man, that is such a dumb design in there. It's like so compact and it's such a big bracket. There's like a bracket that's this wide to hold some little hoses. So I don't know, it's over-engineered. No wonder this car weighs 4,200 pounds and it's a convertible two-seater, I don't know. But we're gonna go find that deep socket and start ripping this thing apart even more. I couldn't find my 10 mil, but I found this 10 mil. It's a little adapter piece for your drill and it's just built right in and we're going to hook this right in and we're going to hope for the best it's got a magnet on the end it's a real nice piece i've never actually used it before i got it out of like a little garage sale 
little tool kit that I had bought a long time ago and I've never even used this. And uh, hopefully this works. But we're shimmy it down in there. Shimmy it down. Sat right on there. Nice, nice, awesome. Got it right out. There we go. Beautiful. Like I said, it's got the magnet, so it came right out. Now we're gonna get all those bolts out. That one bolt was the only issue. Thankfully, that 716 came right in handy. Like a, this is like a V fitting and this part is broken so we have some kind of leak going on there I don't really know what that vacuum is but I gotta take this clip off this clip looks kind of I don't know it looks kind of whatever so and uh, I'm gonna take that clip off everything's gonna come out from this area and we'll be able to change all those I'm really excited to see if this car is actually gonna start up good or start up well or idle well but um, I don't know how well this car really is supposed to idle because this part is broken. So this clip is actually such a joke and like it looks way more intensive than it is. A lot of you guys probably already have taken these off before but literally just squeeze it and pulls right off. So that's nice and out of the way now. So we're able to tuck this out of the way. Not all the way because there's still a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of airlines and stuff. But now we're at least exposed enough in there where we can work freely. Remove some of this stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to take these 10 mils out. Remove those. Get those clips off. And throw the, the red tops in there. This is a really cool experience for me because I've never changed the coil packs on a uh, gas car before. So you guys are learning along with me. And uh, this motor is super tiny just like the TDI. But it doesn't make the torque monster like that thing does. No, but in all seriousness, that car with stock block, stock everything, stock turbo, um, you just throw a little more fuel at it and it's making the same power that this 1.8 is with a big turbo, injectors, tune, all this stuff. But it's definitely a different type of power. And um, I noticed that the TDI is definitely, the torque comes in way more linear than these cars. They don't really feel as, as grabby, but this car is gonna be a monster at some point. So it's basically time to throw these in. We got all four of these right here. I'm up on the windshield. I know, I know, I'm handling them out with enough care, whatever. Um, I'm gonna fold this back. Basically, we gotta take away every single one of these. These two are already off, so this one's gonna come right out. And it's gotta be tucked out of the way. You know, we just basically pull up on this, but these clips have to be off. And some of these clips are actually broken. Like, this clip isn't even, like, existent, which really stinks. But I think that we're just gonna be able to slide this right off. And hopefully there's something holding it on there. But yeah, as you guys can see, that thing just basically isn't even on there it's held together by hopes and dreams and then we got our little 10 mil here take that off nice beautiful give her a little spin didn't want to get her to come all the way out but once that actually comes loose everything's out of the way it's my first time ever ripping a coil pack off so i know how amazing pretty sure you just got to give it a good old yankarooski and uh that goes right in there i mean man that's, that's as simple as that maybe We'll just drop that right down in there like like so wow and then clip her right in oh my god this clip is so broken talk about a mess yeah that clip isn't even held in there oh it clipped it actually clipped on the bottom so now that's nice and clipped in there so there's a red top conversion i'm gonna go do the other four now These older cars really hate me. So I know a lot of you guys that work with older cars understand the brittle plastics in the engine bay problem. And this is just absolutely absurd. I mean, I got in there with a screwdriver in a spot where maybe I shouldn't have been, but that clip literally exploded into a million pieces just by touching it. It should have some kind of give. I stuck a screwdriver in there to just engage the clip and it just exploded. And uh, yeah, so this tab in here, exploded this tab over here just completely fell off and then this one over here is okay so it clicked into place and this is actually in there pretty tight luckily um there is some play so hopefully the car runs great I'll tell you what, these really change up the way the engine bay looks. It looks way more legit. I'm going to have to get some new clips on here. Um, ECS definitely supplies those. Like I said, guys, 5% off ecstuning.com. And uh, why not? If you guys get 5% off, definitely go for it. It's sick. To show you guys what's going on here is, you know, heated up plastic basically gets really brittle over time. And uh, it just shatters into a million pieces. I got another piece right here. And a lot of you guys have already experienced this, but if you know you're new to cars or something like that, you haven't. I definitely experience this with the TDI very often, but 
you know, it just, it just shatters all over the place. But let's go ahead, we have to start this car up. And first, before we start it up, we're gonna have to put all this back into place. I really wanna check all this stuff out, so I'm gonna loosely put it back into place. The intercooler piping goes together and comes out so easily that I'm just gonna loosely put everything together. I wanna see if the car at least starts, and I want it to, you know, not go into limp mode or nothing, so I will hook up everything, and I uh, definitely do need this. I don't really like running the car without it, but I got it without that all hooked up anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead, plug these clips back in, hook the boost piping back up, and uh, we're gonna start this thing. Hopefully it's good, and um, we're gonna give it a rip up and down the road if she runs good, but uh, yeah. These clips are all broken, but they all have at least some kind of clip holding them together. This last one slides in and out much easier than all the others, and uh, that is a concern. But like I said, we are gonna go ahead and buy new harness clips anyway, so that's no big deal. Let's throw this car back together, look, get everything looking clean, and uh, let's take her for a rip if she runs good. everything back into place it does sit a little bit differently because the old coil packs had their own seats where this bracketry sat on top of so I took the old bolts and I put them underneath in staggered areas and then I tightened down this one bolt that was able to hold everything is tight now I just want to put the car back together a little bit so we can go for the drive so the intercooler piping is all on all the sensors are plugged back in including this one and uh, the last step is to clear the way all the stuff in front of it Start this thing up, bring it up the road, and uh, we'll see if it rips. <sighs> tight little spot right here. I used to pull the cars in on an angle, but a little tight area. And uh, one, two, three. Runs beautifully. It honestly sounds maybe a little bit healthier than it used to. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna play the placebo effect, but it really does sound much better than it used to. Like, it didn't sound like I had a misfire before, but. Sounds good, sounds healthy. Maybe the two steps are gonna be better, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean off this windshield, get all the stuff cleaned out from the front, see if we can get a cameraman, and uh, go for a couple rips up and down the road. This car honestly does sound a lot more healthy. I'm gonna put it first here, go for a little two step. Oh yeah, that's way more healthy. That's way more healthy. The car sounds way better, way better. It's not even a placebo effect. Like it used to have this like stutter to it and all this stuff, and uh, Maybe we had a dead coil pack or something. Maybe you had a misfire, but this car definitely feels better. I'm really excited to see how it drives, but there's only one way to see how it drives, and that's actually a drive. I got my camera, camera woman, Mama K, got her out of from watching her movie. She's taking some spare time out of her day. I wish I had some friends there able to film for me. Joey, you're playing Battlefield right now. It's just the way it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop in this car, we're gonna head down the driveway, and uh, we're gonna give this car a rip. Well guys, the, the serpentine belt just popped off, so quick intermission. The neighbors are also walking down the road, so I can't be ignorant. So once they go away and I fix this belt, we're gonna go back out onto the road and uh, we're gonna get an external view. So well, guys, I thought it just threw the belt, but it actually just snapped it because this belt was junk, so we're gonna go throw that. But anyway, the motor was moving excessively and I was like, what the heck? So when I was looking for the belt underneath the car, it actually turns out that the dog bone mount has snapped Maybe have to get a bigger washer, but I am gonna make a solid one or order a new one. I'm not really sure yet, but that whole setup has ripped. So the car is basically out of battery. The neighbors are still out and the kids are playing. And this TT is a big headache, but I get off the ground and uh, we're gonna have to fix this. Can't drive it. Dog bone mount is all messed up. You know what? We're gonna send it. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're gonna send it for the boys.
Guys, Karen doesn't know how to work the camera. She'll be out here another day. Thank you for her coming out here. But yeah, just a little upset with this car because the motor mounts, you know, they're all moving around. The car is all crazy. Didn't two-step right there, so it's giving us some issues. But uh, I'll tell you guys what, one thing for sure, I got to get a shop in an area that I can actually mob this thing. I got neighbors looking at me left and right. Can't have fun in this thing at all. You hate to hear it, and uh, I feel kind of guilty for mobbing this thing. And it didn't two-step right there, so it made some like weird rev, and the motor's moving all weird, and... <sighs> On to the next one, though. But no, in all seriousness, these coil packs definitely run a lot better. I just feel guilty because it's 7 o'clock at night, and I'm out here trying to two-step and stuff in the neighborhood, you know, not having it, and the dogs are barking, and a whole bunch of stuff, so I definitely feel guilty about it. But we got this car all good cars all together thanks to mama k for at least coming out here and uh filming when you know most moms wouldn't they tell me to shut up but the car is looking sick out here camera was super zoomed in there once i realized i was already like 30 seconds into talking but anyway we're out here outside the car right now and i guess the main goal for this week would be to install those other parts that i bought also get that um that dog bone mount somehow mounted back up. It literally tore because it was so small. It was so thin from the last person who owned it before the last, like basically this car was a super low static car back in the day and everything underneath the car is just completely scraped away. The dog bone mount was paper thin. So once I got on it, it ripped, it legitimately ripped out of place. So I got to make a new mount for that. I'll make that out of 304 stainless and we'll mount that up. It'll never move. But um, everything looks good besides that. Um, that little bolt that I had actually put in there last time it, with the brass fitting, it, it's still holding. But when I was trying to go up the road and I like gave it gas, this exhaust almost hit this. And it just honestly, it just wasn't having it. Like I said, the dogs around here were just barking and stuff like that. But on a lighter note, we are going to get those RSs repaired tomorrow. We we're going to go visit Tommy. I don't know how close we're going to get to him because I want to respect his distance. But uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have a good time tomorrow. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry we didn't get to mob the TT full our local DMVs are not open yet so I cannot register this car get it on the road um, they're gonna be open in a few days though supposedly the tents so cross your fingers hope I mean every single time something comes closer they always cancel it but anyway um, if you guys want that 5% off discount definitely hit the link in the description for ECS tuning um, make sure you guys are just like staying like positive and like hyped and stuff like that I definitely find myself sometimes you know falling back into the I would just rather you know sit down and watch TV and not film but I got to get out there. I really enjoy doing it. I really, really enjoy making you guys um, hyped about cars. And uh, I'm hyped today. So I'm really, I'm really excited. So make sure you guys are just staying positive. Keep smiling. Don't even put you down. And uh, just keep working on your builds. Definitely comment down below what you guys are working on. I've been trying to respond to all the comments lately. And um, this week's just been a harder week to film. And... Uh, you know, if you guys, if you guys already know, the TikTok is gone, so it's much harder for the channel to grow because TikTok was like one of the main sources of our clicks. We were getting like, like, you know, close to like a hundred thousand visits a, a month on YouTube from our TikTok directly, which is absolutely insane. And we don't have that anymore, so I don't have the traffic coming through. So YouTube isn't promoting my channel as much. So please share the videos if you guys enjoy the videos. And uh, we're gonna get to some wheel welding content tomorrow. Going to see some friends, and uh, I'm really excited for that. So. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to stop rambling. I know a lot of you guys do like hearing me talk and some of you guys don't. But anyway, I had fun with today's video. I hope you guys did as well. The TT is looking good. These red tops are in here. The car definitely drives better. If you guys are thinking about getting some red top coil packs, definitely do it. I would highly suggest it. But uh, be careful with your clips. If you don't want to replace them, definitely be careful because they won't break automatically. But I kind of just sent it and uh, this car is looking awesome. I'm really hyped on it. I hope you guys are as well. And, um, you know, throw the video a like if you liked it. And um, long outro today, but I haven't been behind the camera in a while. And uh, honestly, I just, I'm bummed that we couldn't drive it further. And I'm bummed that the dog bone mount broke. And I'm bummed that the uh, serpentine belt broke. So everything broke. But uh, it's just the way it goes, guys. So we got new stuff coming in the mail. We got new parts picked up today. And uh, we'll keep going, guys. So just keep smiling. Keep loving your stance cars. These things are looking sick. I hope you guys are enjoying yours as much as I am loving this TT and the TDI over there. So keep ripping, keep smiling, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. We got so many videos coming, I'm super excited. So peace out, enjoy it, your night, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.